Okay, here we go again, another Sunday Live. Let's see who pops on here. We'll just kind of hang out for just a little bit. We're gonna make a pretty card tonight. Okay, here comes somebody. That's good. At least I know it's working. Hi, Laura. Nice to see you. So welcome to everyone. Um, this is a Stamping in the Valley. And the reason why it's called Stamping in the Valley is because I live in a little town in Tennessee. That is, um, the nickname is the Valley Beautiful. And that's why I named it that way when I did. A lot of people think I live in California. Hey, Lily. Good to see everyone. Hi, Connie. So, just a little background there while people just hop on. Okay, so this card, oh my goodness. Guys, hi Glenda. I was looking um, on YouTube to see about um, Brenda Hernandez. We need to do, I have, a, I have a note over here. I keep forgetting to do those blocks. We show you all of my clear blocks and I will do that tonight. I have a note I actually wrote myself. And um, I'll show you, it says right here, Brenda Hernandez blocks. She asked about my clear blocks. And I keep forgetting, hello everyone. Thank you so much from snowy Colorado. Oh my goodness. We had a little snow last week. Hello, Nancy. Hello everyone. Good evening, good evening. So nice to see everyone this evening. So um, I was looking online to see um, <laughs> yes, Brenda, I, I promise I won't forget. I've got the note right next to me. Um, I was looking online because I am scared to death of ink blending. So, and I think I'm afraid of the ink. I'm always afraid that I'm putting down like too much ink or I'm doing not enough ink, you know, or whatever. So I keep watching these videos about it. And as you see, I have not done anything with it because I don't feel like, um, like ready to do it. Okay. So. I'm watching all of these videos and I type in um, inking techniques and uh, or stamping up inking techniques, something like that. And I came across some videos and I was like, oh my word. So I suppose a long time ago when stamping up just got started and I did a card for my team this week and I told this story that on um, my crafting, my happy crafting corner. Um, but for, from what I understand, from what I heard from all the videos a long time ago, they didn't have, of course, all the wonderful um, product that we have now and just, you know, the fun stuff that we have to create now. So they had to get very creative. So what they did was, let me show you this. They took a clear block and I have just some rubber bands here and they wrapped the rubber bands around the clear block to give um, dimension. Okay, so this is what you would do. I had, I had the clear blocks. I got them at, I think, the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I had a bag of them in the, where I keep all the, like, envelopes and that kind of thing, just to have rubber bands. So, and let them crisscross. You don't want them to be straight, okay? You really want them to crisscross. You want it wonky. You can do both sides, whatever. <clears throat> this one's even thicker. So I'm going to wrap this one and definitely make sure that that crisscross is right there. All right? So, and then we're going to stamp with this. That's how the background was created for this card. And as you can see, um, I, uh, I, I'm going to emboss tonight. When I did it with my team, I did not emboss. I just did ink. It came out adorable. Hi, Judith. Um, and so this came out cute too. Okay, let's go and do the giveaway from last week. I have it all packaged up, just some goodies and the card that we made last week, which was the paper pumpkin alternative right here. Hello, Karen. And I've got everybody's name in our little bucket here. Here we go. And we will just choose someone right here. Oh, we've got two. Oh, okay, let's mix them up again. I pulled out two of them. I'm not looking. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let me get one. One in my hand right here, right? I've got one. See, I'm not looking. I can't even feel it. Okay. I try to look away when I do that. Okay, Diana DiVincenzo. She won this giveaway. I will contact her and get her information. And we will do, of course, another giveaway. And what it's going to be, hi, Becky. Um, what it's going to be is this card right here is the giveaway. And then I went ahead and I took my S Stitch So Sweetly dies, which I absolutely love. And I took this in designer series in color paper, 2019, 2021. And I cut you guys out some stuff this afternoon just so that you could see how sweet these um, these little dies are, the stitching, I just love them. So I just cut out some and I thought that whoever could use these maybe as a focal point or something on maybe some cards that they made. I love the stitching with the scallop. So um, that's the giveaway for next week. It'll be this card right here and these little elements right there. So that's fun, okay. Um, let's see. Remember, we have a new, new celebration. Okay. A very, very new celebration right here. It will launch March 3rd. If you place a $50 order or $100 order, there's new product in here. Here is the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper. I did a two-part, um, uh, video on YouTube this weekend with this paper. Right here it is. I am amazed with this paper. I love it, love it, love it. I want to show it to you because if you place a $50 order, of course you'll get this for free and you'll get my card kits for free or you could choose this for free. And this this is as of March. March, this is not ready to launch yet for you guys as customers. If you are a demonstrator though, like I could purchase this because I'm a demonstrator. If you want to join my team, I would love to have you. Um, but uh, as a demonstrator, I purchased this for $11.50. I didn't have to spend the $50 to get it free. So that's kind of cool. So here is how the paper started. And then I colored each and every flower. And guys, I don't even have a card to show you because I sent out all of my kits um, today actually. And I'm using stamps.com now. And um, so I took everything to the post office today. And they are all like thank you cards for customers, downlines, paper pumpkin people. They went all over the place. I wanted you to see. I know, right? This paper is phenomenal. Look at this. Look at that foiling. I love it. It's a copper. I wanted to show you what came with it. This is silver. And this would look great colored also, right? And then this right here, this is really cool right here. I think that's cool. I think you get three of each. Hi, Diana. Hi, Paula. This paper, I mean, I think, I really believe like that this paper they could sell out of. I had to show that to you. I cannot, I loved, um, you know, like coloring this paper. I went ahead and colored all kinds of different colors, but if you were to do just one color and you know just stay stay like what it would look gorgeous also this is some this was easy coloring too not difficult whatsoever the it's large and um the uh foil resists the ink for you and if you needed to um someone told me that you could take a paper towel and rub it over it when you're done and it'll take off any of the ink that's on the foil but this is what I came up with and really just had fun with it in the craft room. I had to show, share that with you guys. So there's the foiled um, flowering foil specialty designer series paper. Let's see. Now this is with a hundred dollar purchase. They have the cups and this is reversible and it pairs with the cup of cheer. So this is coming out. Hi, Sandra. And um, this is a well-dressed and so very vellum specialty designer series paper. It pairs, and it's embossed, if you could see that. It pairs with Pool Party, Purple Posy, and Soft Seafoam. And then Tags in Bloom with a $100 order. It, this, there's this set right here that you could get for free. And it coordinates with uh, Label Me Fancy Punch. So that's cute, right? 
and if you guys um this is sold out this is sold out and i had some customers i got like so excited about stamps.com that i just started packaging things up and this was like between yesterday and today even after the post office closed and then today i took everything there while i was going to walmart i was so happy i had all my postage on it and everything so i have like five customers that every time you're a customer you get my free card kits i also then put some goodies in the bag for you I totally forgot your goodies, guys. So I'm not gonna say the names all the way, but there's uh, two Lindas, an Adia, a Mary, and a Sally. If you're watching my um, my video, even on YouTube, I am going to, I will, I will break this up into five. And you guys are getting samples of this because there is no more. And I'll put it in a little envelope. I have a list over here to do that with, and I'm so sorry. I completely, left it out i was like so happy that hey sandra that i was um having fun with stamps.com that everything got all closed up and <laughs> i was really just having fun with stamps.com actually to tell you the truth so okay this flower right here comes from what we're going to use tonight is the stitch so sweetly dies right here are those and i have been having an absolute fantastic time with these I'm though I used the um, the coastal weave embossing folder this is just not for beach okay this just looks I love the look of that and then I used the forever blossoms I wanted this cherry blossom right here if you order this set from me either one of these sets in the occasions catalog the forever blooms bundle or the Parisian beauty bundle either set but we're gonna focus on this one tonight um, you receive a free card class and it shows you how to put these three cards together it goes to your email and it shows you these three cards right here to put together so that's if you purchase either one of those sets from me and then you get the free card kits also don't forget that everybody always gets free card kits right um, let me share with you I just got this in the mail I had this stamp set and then I got the coordinating birthday dies let's look at these well I've got you guys with me um, yes and we are gonna get to this card in just a minute I'm just having fun with all my stuff right um, I wanted to show you these these are for purchase this is coordinating product for purchase and um, I wanted to see in here I hadn't even opened it up yet I wanted to see these oh yes isn't that fantastic I love that for the cake I'm gonna do something with this next week here's the cake with the flower and then this right here is just the flower so that you can pop it up I love that can can you order still from the older celebration book yes yes Laura you can yes you can you can you can it's either or and either book it's just that that twine and with the sequence is um, gone so I can't wait to make a birthday card with this next week I really want to play with that um, and here are the coordinating products I got the birthday cake you, uh, you've seen me play with the pretty um, please as punch paper the picture does not even do that justice guys whatsoever I re I got the ladybug dies I need to play with my ladybugs more that is I love the cake stand right that is a cake stand yes thank you um, <laughs> Susan thank you very much let's see I have this it goes with the current paper pumpkin I really yes exactly exactly so yes here's some coordinating products with some celebration items that's a lot of fun I think I'm going to keep that birthday set because I just love it I really love that birthday set okay let's move this aside and so yeah we're gonna use forever blossoms the cherry blossom um, die right here there's a bunch of flowers in this die set let me show you that right quick bunch 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 of stuff in here I have the large one out but there's a lot of stuff in here to play with just really great set and then I'm going to use from So Sentimental, I use the For You, and I'm going to use I Can't Thank You Enough. That's what I put on the inside of the card. Isn't that pretty? It's so sweet. 
Okay, so now everything's out of the way and I can get down to business <clears throat> now. <clears throat> Okay, let's move this somewhere where I can just look at it. Good. Oh, no, wait. Brenda Hernandez blocks. I have to do this. Okay. Miss Brenda, here are my blocks. Plus, I have ones over here, too. I've got these mounted. I have rubber bands for tonight mounted. Okay. And so I have a bunch of blocks and here's this one mounted. So there's more than what I have. Now, I would not, if you have a Stamparatus and you'll see me use it tonight, I don't think there's any cause, unless you know you were doing a big background stamp or something, but like I use the Stamparatus for that. So um, this one right here, F, I bought this a long time ago, but because I have my Stamparatus, I seriously do not use that. These are some, this is an H, and then I've got this, the G right here. I have my A blocks, I have four A blocks. If you're on my team, um, you got an A block. If you join my team, I will send you an A block. Um, so I have that on the list right now, I, I owe somebody one. So here's some, um, these are B's and C's and D's, and I just keep them in my little, um, dollar store caddy right here that's all i do and but these are my blocks i have my paper pumpkin here and what is this other one that i got uh this is just a stampin up one this one says stampin up and paper pumpkin um and this one i had from sandy genovese genovese i think um i used to watch her a whole lot so i keep those clear blocks in here like that but really and truly, I use these up here. I use my A blocks constantly because I happen to like little things. So they, I really love them. They're chunky. They um, have a groove right here for you to stick your fingers in so you don't get, um, uh, yes, the G block and the A blocks, are. these are perfect. They really are. I love this for a little sentiment, right? Um, so this right here, in the groove it's nice to put your fingers in you don't get ink on the paper you don't pick it up because your fingers are in the grooves and they're designed like that so i just love my blocks but like i said if you were going to leave one out at, because if you had a positioning device i would leave this f1 out because i don't use it i use the stamparatus we're going to use the stamparatus tonight so okay miss brenda hernandez there are which ones you use the most oh Definitely, I use, here we go. It is A, B, C, and D. These are the ones I use the most. A, B, C, and D. Uh, are we going to get, Mary, do you want me to send you a, um, a catalog? I'll send you a catalog. I just sent, put your things in the mail, but I will be more than happy to send you a second celebration catalog. I'll do that. So let me write that down right quick. Mary Gates. Send SAB second cat. Okay, no problem. Yes, I love the blocks. The blocks are um they are very superior to everything like crafting i i love them because they're easy down and up it's easy with my um with my arthritis those blocks are chunky <coughs> <coughs> let me get something to drink okay all right now so for our card we have a base of flirty flamingo no problem mary i will get that in the mail to you we have a base here of Flirty Flamingo. It's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, so it opens like this. We have two layers inside. This is Old Olive at five by three and three quarter, and this one is going to be four and three quarter by three and a half. I'm gonna do that with my mini trimmer, three and a half. Remember, if you join my team, you get the mini trimmer for free, plus paper, a, um, a stamp set of your choice. Stampin' Up! is having a big, big, big um, 
sale right now. So that's the inside and that's four and three quarter by three and a half. The outside that we are going to emboss on is five and a quarter by four. Our two little pieces right here, the flirty flamingo is two and an eighth by five and an eighth. And our old olive that's embossed with our coastal weave embossing folder and that pretty is um, two by five and they will adhere like this. And then I cut this out and I stamp this with the um, so sentimental set right there and this is gold foil okay so let's do the inside of our card we need some old olive here and flirty flamingo and the inside um, is going to be i can't thank you enough in old olive ink that up nicely right there beautiful and then i'm going to take our little flower in flirty flamingo beautiful let's go ahead and do our envelope i picked out two of them let me move this aside and let me get our envelope i probably had an envelope right here didn't i Yes, I did. Hmm. Okay, flirty flamingo. Can you, uh, would like to, okay, information for the blocks. Um, yes, Gloria, I surely can. No problem. Do, um, did you want, I'll, I'll just send you the numbers and everything for every size. Let me write that down. Blocks and, um, yeah, blocks. Okay, got it. Okay, now we've got this. We want to go ahead and attach this to our um, old olive. These are some fantastic blocks, honest to goodness. It is a great time to join Stampin' Up! Janet, you're so right. If I am missing any comments, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. The F block is good for a weight to hold things down. Well done. <laughs> You're right, Carol. I love that. The F block is good to hold things down. Yeah, and, and see, yes, Karen, that's so true. Love the stamparatus. Yes. Okay. Sorry to be shaking here. Wait, let me hold the camera and get to the bottom. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes, Gloria, no problem. I will send that to you. I will send you all that information on the blocks. They are wonderful. I love them because of, like I said, the little groove and they're chunky. Um, and they're just so easy to manipulate and hold. And like I, u I use a whole lot of them. When I first got into doing Stampin' Up!, I met this lady that was getting out of Stampin' Up!, and she was selling all of her things. And I said to her, I said, well, you know, I just had a limited amount of money. Thank you so much, Becky. Um, hey, Keely. Uh, so I asked her, I said, what do you think, you know, is like one of the best things that I need to purchase? She was like, you need blocks. You should purchase every block I have. And I went, okay, you must know. And so like those blocks, I got them for like $2 a piece, a lot of them, because um, they were used. Who cares that I would have paid full price? I thought they were in great shape, but she was kind and um, wanted to help me out because I was new at this and you know for the first three and now I attach that to the inside of the car I agree blocks are easy to hold most definitely Nancy so yes and then a lot of times if I am like if I've got an order going and um, I don't have I'm going to attach our coastal weave to our um, flirty flamingo but if I lack a little bit on an order I'll throw a block in because I know I'm going to use it you know sometimes I'll have like especially if it's a builder set I'll have 10 stamps out you know because I'm building a flower here a bicycle there who knows what you know so um that's what I do and I like to have everything I like to attach everything and then just start stamping 
Now this should go right in the middle here. And just the teeniest hint of flirty flamingo around the outer edge. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to move all of this to the side. Let's bring in, if I can find it. Okay, good. This, yeah, you should see it over here to the right. Ah, <laughs> the stamper. Well, let's go ahead and make this element. This one right here, I already stamped the for you, and I'm just going to use some snail on this. And I'm gonna bring this in, and I'm just going to place that right over the top. Oh, love that, wonderful. And now I'm just going to use the edges right here of my dimensionals for this. The big ones are too much. See how I place these all around? And then I take one from like a little thing from here in the middle, and then I put this. Um, I do this with Stampin' Up! Blends. What are we doing now? I agree, blocks are easy to hold. What do you do with the blends, Susan? Add it to an order to get... Oh, yeah, right, 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 yes. Add it to an order to get to the next level. Yes, 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 I got that. <laughs> Yes, exactly. That's exactly. It's like, oh, well, I just need this little bit. So I'll go ahead and add that. Now I'm just going to take the backs off of here just to have this ready for our end result. And then we'll bring the stamparatus in. Well, let's place this. I'm going to place it over here. Watch, I'll forget where I put it, right? Okay. Now, get this out of the way. There's just a lot to tonight, only because I'm just right in the center here. Thank you very much, um, Vicky. Yeah, thank you. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the stamp apparatus, it's a positioning device. It has hinges. There's another clear plate that goes on the top here. Let me get that. There's another one, like if we were doing um, two-step stamping, you can hinge this up here just like that, and you could bring one over, open it up, and then bring the other one down, but you can't store it with both of them in there. Um, and then you get a foam plate when you're on photopolymer, but we're not, we're on red rubber. So we're down on the bottom plate of, um, of the Stamparatus. Now this is about um, two and a quarter inches, and I wanna take a stamp set, stamp box, and just put it under here just for stability, okay? Because if you don't have that, you can get like a little bounce in this. So I always try to tell people to put that under there. Now, <clears throat> this is about two and a quarter wide. And what you, here, what you do with this, if you've never seen anything like this, I take my stamp and I put it where I want it on my paper and I close the door and it picks it up just perfectly. My magnets have my paper down I'm going to take my Tuxedo Memento Black ink because we are going to color, and I'm going to ink up my stamp on this side. Just like that. And now I'm going to close the door, and I'm going to press this down. Now everything is in the same spot. So now you open it up. It's not as rich black as what I'd like it to be. So I go ahead and I ink this up again over here. And now I close the door again and we're in the exact same place. And this is what's wonderful about a positioning device. I purchased a bunch of straight edge blocks that are half the thickness of Stampin' Up! blocks. I take one of the one inch square. Let's say glue them together. Oh yeah, with the E6000, I'll hold anything together, right? Keeps your fingers out of the ink. Yes, I agree. I agree, Carol. Well, that was a good way to solve that. She just took two blocks and glued them together. There we go. Now see how vibrant that black is, and that's really what I want. Okay, now I'm going to put this here. Let me get that out of the way. I'm going to take this and stick it on my chamois so that it will not, the ink won't dry on it. I think I'm done with this flower too. Okay, good. Now we're going to color this. It doesn't take long. We're going to use dark and light flirty flamingo and just, um, 
light old olive so just one color this is very simple coloring so I'll talk to you as I'm coloring remember um, if you love paper pumpkin and love kits they are going to do two stamp sets in March and the greatest thing about paper pumpkin you could sign up and then you know you don't have to keep it you could drop off whenever you want to you could suspend your subscription you could jump off you could jump back on it, that's the greatest thing about paper pumpkin so if you would like to sign up with me over when I when I convert this over on the YouTube there will be all of the links over there but remember it is two stamp sets which how much fun is that who would say no to two stamp sets right and if you're a demonstrator you um, I'm going to use dark crumb cake now and the little um, the tighter tip the nib tip and I'm gonna do the branches right here but yeah if you're a demonstrator remember you get 20% off of your paper pumpkin right off a lot of you girls with me are up to 25% now all of the ladies on my team are crafting demonstrators guys none of them make a business out of it I just love for them to craft and get their discount well I'm back on Facebook because of you <laughs> Thank you, Keely. I'll send you the invitation. I love it. My, you know, my team, I swear, you guys, I don't know what I do. I'm going to use dark flirty flamingo in the middle of these flowers right here where this black is and just kind of come out with it a little bit. Just the dark. Um, yes. So, Keely, I will send you an invitation to my Happy Crafting Corner because that is our Facebook page for my team. And let's see, I missed a couple of little greens right here. Right there, okay. Maybe up here too. Okay, pretty. And now we just take, now that we have all of that done, this is just some really simple coloring here with just some light flirty flamingo. It's such a beautiful color real melony to me you know like I, if I saw um, if I saw like a icy or you know a ice pop or something this color I would want to have that color icy pop it just looks delicious and this is just like I said this is just very easy coloring you can see I'm barely I'm not really even blending I'm letting the dark be where the dark is and it just kind of flowing. These little flowers are so cute. And then I'm gonna just turn and get and cut this out of my big shot. I'm not gonna bring the big shot over. So I'll just turn to the right over here and cut it out and we'll have our element for our card. And then we're gonna do the rubber band technique. Got to get through all of this first. I'm not looking at comments. I'm sorry. I'm coloring. <laughs> and I love these blends. My coloring goes, look how fast, right? It's not, it's not difficult or hard. I'm not an artist. I'm just a crafter. And I like things to look pretty. And um, Stampin' Up! really took all of that worrisome part in that pretty oh that pink and green is just oh i love it um but stampin up took all the heart out of it for me you know we do they it, they really do okay let me get this stamparatus now out of the way and so this is going to go here now we have our framelit right here oh i have a couple pieces in here that i don't need let me get these out Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to take the framelit, and this is from the Cherry Blossom um, framelits, or I keep calling them framelits, they're not framelits anymore, right? They're dyes. Everything is a dye. Cherry Blossom, Cherry Blossom dye. 
Happy birthday, Keely. Is it Keely's birthday? I've been um, trying to send out birthday cards to my team members. So I put some washi tape right here. I'm, I'm sorry if I missed that, Keely. Let me get this right and put, see how I'm using my washi tape? And with the new Stampin' Up! dies, you should see no white border. No white border at all. Okay, remember in the old ones, we, we would see like a, a little halo of white. That you do not want now. Okay, now I'm going to stick this, let's see, right there. That should hold it. Okay, running it through the big shot. And here we go, right there. Beautiful, you still get the white um, border, but you don't see it now when you cut it, but you still get it. Oh, I just think that's so pretty. It's Kelly, what? Nice, huh? Um, the, um, Susan, this is the, um, uh, what, hold up. It is the Forever Blossom bundle. It's with the Parisian. It's the other one. It's the Forever Blossom. I hope, did that answer your question? I was coloring, so I didn't answer comments. So now here we go. We're going to put some dimensionals back here. We'll get this ready. So I want that. I know I want a couple of minis. I want a mini up here. I remember doing that on the other one. And one on there. And let's see, here's one in this corner. And let's go here. And here, and I think one more will do it. Right there. Now right down in here, I want another I want one of those little straight ones. I got one right up here. I want to hold that right there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna move that aside, but I'm gonna leave those dimensionals on the back. Now, let's go ahead and do the most important part of this card. I kind of saved it for last. A piece of scrap paper. This is regular Whisper White, five and a quarter by four. Now we're gonna get the Versamark out. <clears throat> Versamark right here. Now remember, we made our rubber band. Well, I showed you this one. I'm going to use this one over here. This is the one I've been using, and I cleaned it, and now um, I'm going to throw it away when I'm done. So my block is like full of Versamark, full of... It, it, this is a very messy technique. You get very inky. How much fun is that? Uh, so here we go into the Versamark with the rubber band. Try not to rock the block, okay? So I'm using it long ways, and then I'm stamping, and then I'm crossing, and I'm stamping and crossing. And you can't really even see it, just keep going. Do it on and off the page, short and long. Let it cross over. I have found that the more you have, the more fun the paper gets. And this reminded me of being on the boardwalk at Seaside Heights in New Jersey when I was a teenager. And we would do this kind of spin art um, with the, um, I don't know, we dropped this paint into this thing, it would spin around. And this is kind of what it reminded me of. So now can you, you can see that shiny Versa mark on there? So what I'm doing right now is I'm looking, I see a, a blank little space there. And I promise you, the more the merrier on this. We're gonna go that way, we're gonna go that way. Okay, and remember Versa mark, you've got, you've got time. Okay, I've got blank down here. You've got time, it stays wet. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use the um, embossing buddy. Oh, well, we're good, no problem. Little, little bit down here. Let 
It'll be all right. Okay, I think we're good. I really do. Okay, now let me move this aside. And this is my gold embossing powder. I need to purchase more. This is so much fun. Okay, the rubber bands, I just cannot get over these stinking silly rubber bands. Okay, now I'm going to take my gold embossing powder and I'm going, watch it, watch what it does here. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you guys, um, I was born in 1958, so I'm 61. Oh, I could have probably got a little bit more over here, but that's okay. Now I'm going to flip it over. But I was born in 1958, so I'm 61 years old. And um, when my mom and my aunts, they did this um, feather dusting painting with gold in the bathrooms. It was like this big thing in the 60s to feather dust paint. And this even kind of reminded me of that. Because it was like my dad had to sprinkle with the feather dust, the, the gold paint. I, it was hilarious. But that's what it was. You know, it was just trendy then. It was the in thing. So that this kind of reminds me of that too. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to put that there. All right. Let me move this because I've got stuff on it actually. Let me... So one good thing about right now, like you could fix it now, you know, if you needed to add more gold to it, but I think we're good. I'm just going to tip this in here, the little bit that I got. Let me put my lid on so I don't blow everything all over the place. Okay, now from here, we get our heat tool and we watch the magic begin. Messy, let's see. The signal is walking in the rain. Yes, after a story, yes, it does look like walking in the rain, huh? <laughs> it does look like walking in the rain. So now here we go, and it's going to start to turn gold. And like I said, I could have put more Versamark up here. The more the merrier with this, really. But we're okay, because I'll put that on that side, and I'll um, attach that strip with the flower on it. No big deal there. And this is melting. Can you? Yeah, I think you guys can kind of see it melting on camera. I'm not sure. Sometimes I can pick it up, sometimes I can't. I'm just kind of moving my way around. And it goes from like a brownish color to the beautiful shiny gold when it melts. The hotter it gets, the faster it melts. But you want to move because you don't want to burn the paper. We're doing a great job. This is coming out quite well. Here we go. I think we might have it. Let me check it. Looks all shiny to me. Oh, a little spot right there. Check it in the light and make sure that everything is nice and shiny. There we go right there. I think we're okay. Yep. Beautiful. Ah, uh, let's see. It messy. It comes out in the wash. Yes, it does. Carol does come out in the wash, literally, right? Okay, now remember, so long ago we put the base of the card together. Right here it is. And now we're gonna use our Tombow and put our piece that we did down. I think that is just such a fun technique. I also think that, um, I think children would like stamping. I did a card for the my team in colors and um, in colored ink with that technique and I, it looks so pretty. I even did the outside of the envelope with it. So that goes there, just like that, put that in here. Oh, that embossing feels so good. Look at how pretty that looks. 
That came out really nice. Okay, now some more Tombow back here. And I want, I want a little bit of the gold showing. See, this is why I didn't worry about that too much because I knew I could hide it somehow. And I just want a little bit of a border around. Very cute there, just like that. And then we're going to take our flower here that we made and we're going to make our project look gorgeous. Take these little backs off. And one here. And I think we've got it. And we're going to place this. And it's okay if it hangs over, no big deal. But I want a little indentation right here because I want the element right here of my for you to go right in that little space there and you can just pop all that up with dimension because we put this down flat with Tombow and there is our card for this evening what a fantastic effect with some rubber bands and some Versamark isn't that fun just some rubber bands and Versamark love it oh that came out so sweet here they both are the one I made off camera, the one I made on camera. I'm so happy with both of them. I hope you guys will try this technique. If you love Paper Pumpkin, now's the time to sign up to stamp sets um, in the month of March. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Diana. I appreciate it. Um, and if you would like to join my team, I'd love to have you. Um, and here we go again. And I will see you next Sunday night at 7. We'll do something. Um, I don't know what, but we'll do something, right? <laughs> we'll do some nice, happy crafting. It's the great way for me to start my work week. Thank you so much for being here with me. And everyone, happy crafting. Have a good evening.